Good morning, Spartans. I'm Emily Falvey. And I'm Zachary Cornblow. Welcome to this edition of the Slamcast. The Sapphires recently had a successful spring show. Let's take a look. When the average Seven Lakes student thinks of the Sapphires, the first images that come to mind are probably glittery and full of dancing. The Sapphire Spring Show, entitled Disney Live, was no exception. With elaborate lights and set design and many costume changes, the Sapphires established the Disney theme to parallel the different parks within Disney World. With all of this being said, it's no surprise that their spring trip this year was actually located at Disney World in Orlando, Florida. In addition to many group dance routines by the team as a whole, the different officers within the team had a major part in the show by dancing in solos and duets as well as choreographing some of the dances. This dance features Colonel Rachel Christopher and Lieutenant Claire Haney. Senior men and senior parents supported their senior girls on the team by taking the stage in fun dance routines. Also, entertainment was provided by hosts Zachary Kornblau and Elizabeth Hand, and musical performances were made by Hunter Korb and Maggie Armand. The Disney theme remained throughout the show with appearances of Monsters, Inc., The Disney Princesses, Mickey Mouse, and more. The magical nature of the Sapphire Show demonstrated, in Walt Disney's words, that all of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. There are lots of paths you can take after high school. Let's talk to some of our Spartans about their plans after graduation. The school days might be winding down quickly for all of us, but the planning for college does not. Generation Texas is an online planning organization that helps Texas high school students plan to find the right path after graduation. If you want to start planning for college, now is the time. Go online to gentx.org and click on the drop down menu to rock your future. Click on the link under Make It Happen and it'll take you to a site with checklists to prepare, apply, and pay. Summer is the best time to start finding what path you want to take. Whether it's college, a year of service, apprenticeships, trade schools, or the armed forces. Here are some Spartans who have found their own path after high school. Hi, my name is Scott Farewell, and I'm a senior here at Seven Lakes. And after I graduate, I plan on serving a two-year mission for my church. Um, <clears throat> in serving my mission, I um, will serve other people, and in serving people, I will learn more about myself and so that <clears throat> before I make decisions on my career and things that will affect the rest of my life. Hi, I'm Ruby Wen, and uh, I'm a junior this year in Seven Lakes High School. And I moved here two years ago and taught myself English. So after high school, I'm planning to go to a college. And because of my dream career is always becoming a petroleum engineer, and I think college can give me the best opportunity to help me to achieve this goal. Hello, I am Nicholas Bozinski. I am a senior here at Seven Lakes and I'm currently enlisted in the United States Navy. I will be shipping out this summer on July 14th and after I'm done with basic training, I will become an aviation structural mechanic. Now when I'm out of the military, that's going to qualify me to be a mechanic or anything, which basically means even after I'm out of the military, I'll still be able to work on planes and cars and boats and pretty much everything that needs fixing. And the biggest reason I joined the Navy in the first place was so that I could go to college and they could pay for it and it would cause a lot less debt for me in the future. So I'm shipping off July 14th and I'm really excited about it because once I actually go through all the training, I can go off and get shipped off and say like Thailand or anywhere in the world and be able to experience everything that everywhere has to offer. Hi, my name is Esther Jang and I plan to go to Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, New York after I graduate from high school. Um, Pratt Institute is a private art school and the reason why that I chose an art school over a normal university is that I won't have to take any core classes my first two years. 
So I can just jump right into my major, which is interior design. Um, another benefit of going to Pratt Institute would be the location. It has so many um, career opportunities for me in the future. And um, although it's really costly because it's out of state and that it's private, I know that I'll have an amazing time in New York. The Seven Lakes Athletic Training Program does a great job keeping our athletes healthy and injury free. We went behind the scenes to capture some of their amazing work. Um, an athletic trainer is an allied healthcare professional that specializes in the prevention, evaluation, treatment, and rehabilitation of athletic injuries. Um, the student trainer's job is basically, um, first of all, they're part. Of, we're, they're assigned to be part of a team, and so whatever team they're assigned to be with, whether it's the football team, the basketball team, soccer, etc., they're part of that team. So they're going to travel with the team. Um, they're going to be at their practices, at their games. Uh, their job is to provide um, first aid care. Um, they also um, assist us with evaluating injuries. They assist us in emergency situations, um, and they're kind of also like a, a go between with the coach and the athletic training staff to help communicate about athletes and their injuries and um, they are they're basically our eyes and ears out on the field when we can't be there. Um, it gives uh, students at Seven Lakes a chance to experience um, the sports medicine profession so we cover all sports from swimming to soccer to football to wrestling and um, when someone gets hurt they can come in and they get assessed and then we um, help them on their road to recovery back to being in their sport. Well, all right, they'll come out to the athletic building at 1810, uh, pick up an application with me, sit down and visit just a little while just so I can get a feel for who you are and uh, why you're interested in becoming an athletic trainer. But it's, it's open to anybody that's interested, has a little bit of passion, who likes to watch sports, uh, and likes a little bit of work in the medical field. Um, I, I do have an application where I ask for three recommendations from teachers, so your teachers have got to like you. Um, have a good, good set of social skills and uh, be willing to help people. I mean, that's the biggest thing is come out to help. Um, in college, usually the student athletic trainers have um, the same opportunities as the athletes. So they're going to get treated just like an athlete in college. Um, they may um, get a scholarship. They may have a um, work-study job where they get paid to be a student trainer, um, either a salary or by the hour. Um, they also um, are privy to all of the same opportunities the athletes get, like tutoring and um, studying centers. So they get a lot of advantages just like a college college athlete would. This next segment needs no introduction. As you probably know, there are many extraordinary students here at Seven Lakes who have special abilities. One of our very own Slamcast students claims to have psychic abilities. So today's student spotlight features one of our very own, Zachary Kornblau, who calls himself the Great Zucchini. Um. Emily, it's the great Zacchini. Zacchini? Well, yeah, my name's Zach, so it's Zacchini. Okay. Well, we've come up with a little test to prove that you're actually a psychic. I know. So, inside these envelopes are questions that not even I've seen. First, you're going to say the answer to the question. Then we'll open up the envelope and see if you're right. Bring it on. No problem. Okay. Water pressure, unlocked doors, and open spaces. Name three things you won't find at Seven Lakes. Sounds good to me. Graduation ceremony. Name something that lasts forever. <laughs> 
Darth Vader and Miley Cyrus. Name two people who were once innocent that turned to the dark side. <laughs> Gummy bear. What do you call a bear with no teeth? <laughs> Igloo. What do you use to keep your ig from falling off? Unicorns and Sadie Hawkins dance. Things that don't exist. <laughs> Crowdunda. What's the new name for the rotunda? <laughs> Let it go. What Frozen fans should do when they have an urge to sing in public? Well, Zachary, we certainly let go of any doubts we had before. Thank you for joining us on this segment. Please join us next time for this recurring segment of Student Spotlight. Hello, Seven Lakes and America. Have any plans on Thursday? You probably don't. Thursday, 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 your stupefying comedy sports team members will be duking it out against their most formidable foe yet, the impressive, imposing Seven Lakes faculty. I can't make this up, folks. Thursday, May 15th in the Seven Lakes Pack, a whopping comedic showdown against your fellow teachers will erupt in the Seven Lakes Pack. But that's not all. Tickets are selling for only $5. So go find a comedy sports member to get your ticket for this astronomical, monumental, extraterrestrial match. If you can find a funnier show in the Katy area, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Action. Comedy. America. Be there. It comes around once a year and is a chance for our Lady Spartans to storm the field. Powder Puff gives our senior women the opportunity to make memories, fight hard, and prove they have what it takes to play football. Our senior woman competed in the annual Powder Puff football tournament. In the semis, Blue Mountain State defeated the Jolly Green Giants, and the Pink Panthers beat the Purple Cobras. In the finals, Blue Mountain State emerged victorious as this year's Powder Puff champion. Weston managed to snag one of the players right after their win. Hey Seven Lakes, I'm here with Greta Swift. Greta, how did the game go? Pretty darn amazing. Yeah, it was good. I, it looked good. You guys were the champions? We are the champions. And what was your what was your team name? Blue Mountain State! Woo! Uh, what was your what was your favorite part about the game? Playing. Playing. And winning. And winning. And being able to hang out with my friends. Woo! That sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations to Blue Mountain State. Seven Lakes Choir hosts a pop show on the pack each spring. Slamcast captured some of the footage. Let's take a look. Last Tuesday, all of our choirs here at Seven Lakes put on their annual pop show. The audience was kept entertained with fabulous duets, solos, and group performances of every genre, including pop, opera, jazz, and musical theater. Let's take a look of some of the footage from the show. Jutsu, her kitchen chair, she broke your 
That's all for today. Come out and support your softball team as they continue their playoff run against Cy Fair tonight at 6 at home. You, you stay, stay classy, classy Seven, seven Lakes. lakes.